What's up guys? So today's video, we're gonna be making a alder picture frame. Uh, 16 cuts on the table saw, that's pretty much it. Uh, we kept it simple. We did use the router table just to put a keyhole in it. You don't have to do that. So 16 cuts on a table saw, you're ready to rock and roll. That includes the four miters and the rabbits to hold the glass and the uh, backer board. So we also introduced our, if also on Instagram, we call these doohickeys. Uh, they work great for miter corners. Hope you enjoy it. First up, we're going to make mitered corners on all four pieces. Uh, we're using our Craig Jig Precision Miter Gauge to ensure every one of our corners are perfect. Now we're going to run it through at a 5 8 by 5 8 rabbit across the blade. This will give us the depth for our backer board plus our plexiglass. We'll do that to all four sides. Now we're going to measure for the back. We're going with a white oak back on this one. It'll make a pretty cool contrast at the end, you'll see. So we snug it in before we glue anything. This ensures if any trimming needs to be done, we can. Uh, next up, we'll trim the plexiglass. Essentially the same as the backer board. So it'll drop right in the grooves. Uh, we keyhole everything we do. Uh, this one is keyhole on the long and the short side, ju just so they can use it whenever. All right, guys, we've got our miter frame here. Now we're getting ready to glue it and clamp it up. Uh, we had a bunch of these triangles, so we're going to try some uh, clamps here and see how they work out. So first we put our CA glue on. Uh, we use Starbond. This is Starbond medium. Glue on. Accelerator on there. Line it up where you want it. Press and hold. Give it a few seconds to grab a good bond. So we got four of them made. Uh, we're gonna pop a couple nails in here uh, with our trim gun just in case. And then we'll see. Uh, as you can tell, he's able to put equal pressure against all four sides uh, using these little, we'll call them doohickeys. Uh, so we put them together with the star bond, uh, the medium and the accelerator, and then the frame itself is held together with tight bond speed set. Uh, this stuff is pretty awesome if you guys hadn't tried it. Uh, we use it a few times and we absolutely love it. So we'll uh, let it gear up and uh, we'll see what comes of it. So you can see that it's now out of clamps. Uh, it came out perfect. The corners are good and smooth. Uh, the miters are good and tight. So now we're going to go in and go ahead and add our screws. As you can see, we do eight screws around the back, uh, countersink both sides, plexiglass fits nice, miters are good. Now we're ready to see for the stain. So for this one, we used a Kona gel stain. Uh, it was what the client recommended. She wanted a darker frame that really accent the certificate. As you can tell with the Kona gel stain, it really pulls the grain out of this knotty alder. We'll usually apply our stain with a brush and then a rag to really rub it in, get the excess off. But you can see the deep dark brown that goes into the knotty alder. You can see some of the imperfections which really accent the wood. You can see here why we brush and then wipe off of the rag it goes on heavy but when you wipe it off it comes out absolutely gorgeous so here we stain the back we debated on even staining the white oak because white oak's so gorgeous on its own just to give it a good inside though we did the back we left the inside natural as you can see here uh, the contrast is amazing. Now, there will be a certificate in it, so you won't see that, but for the giving to the client, it's it's pretty awesome. And you can see the knots and the alder. Tons of character inside of this frame. And last but not least, we got to use our Gearheart Industry branding iron to brand the back. Our favorite parts, when you pull it off, you see the smoke. Check that out. All right, guys, that's our picture frame. We hope you enjoyed it. Now, if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. Thanks.